Hi guys, I just want to make a short intro before we start the video. The wind today was pretty heavy, much heavier than I first thought when I was looking through the scope. When I saw the footage from the, from the target stand, I could see that there were heavy gusts around the target when I was shooting, so the results would probably be much better on a calm day. In all fairness to the Thunderbolt, I should probably do another test on a calm day. But the velocities on the cartridge I can't do anything about and they wouldn't have been better on a calmer day. So the high hits and low hits because of velocities would still be there. But now over to the video. Hi and welcome back to the Gun Viking channel. Today we're going to shoot the Thunderbolt at 220 yards. As you might know I've already shot it at 50 with good results at 160 yards with also good results. And today we are at 220 yards. This might prove to be a little problem because if my memory is correct, we had a standard deviation of 33 uh, when we did the chronograph testing. I'm going to put up the numbers somewhere on the screen. And the further out we get, uh, the more important a low standard deviation is. So we'll see. I should be pretty much on the on the target now. I might need a couple of shots to, to get some hits, but let's see. As you, as you can see on the target, it is uh, uh, one, <laughs> it's one eight inch, and the smaller ones are around three, two, and one and a half or something. Uh, so they are pretty small at uh, 220 yards. Pretty, pretty, pretty small. But let's see if we can hit anything with the Thunder Third. I'll start with, with center hold and see, see if I can get any hits. That was no hit. Okay, aiming a little bit lower. That hit pretty much where I was aiming. Okay, back to the center. That was a little bit low. That sounded hotter. That was almost subsonic. I'm using my ATAC suppressor today, so I could hear that that was pretty much uh, silenced. It's pretty windy over there. But I am hitting pretty regularly. That was a mic. I think that was the last one, yeah. <clears throat> it's much harder here than it's, uh, it's on the 160 yards. That's for sure. Something is really happening uh, in between this, the last 60 yards, between 160 and 220. I can see that the hits are much more split all over the steel over there. But the steel is small from 220 yards. It shouldn't be, it's, it's not a problem at all with the center fire, but with the rim fire, it's pretty hard. I can barely see it with my bare eyes, but, but I really need new glasses, so <laughs> that's not, not so strange. It seems that I'm pretty much aiming in the center and hitting a little bit over and under and on the side. Did you hear that? Did you hear it on the video? It was a much, much lower noise. So that was a sub, uh, no, probably not a subsonic, but one of the lower velocities. Yeah. There we go.
That was subsonic. And I'm not sure if you could see it on the video, but I was way under the target. Maybe a whole target under the target. And also a little bit to the right. Should we try the spinners and see if we can hit them? Let's go for the big one. Nope. No, no joy. Oh, we're going to go down on the large one again. I'm not absolutely sure where they are hitting the, the center of impact is. And it's blowing pretty hard from the right to the left, so. And at 220 yards, the wind can do real damage. Okay, I meant aiming center at the 8 inch. And I hit center, I think. One, one more. Was a tiny bit to the right. Okay, I'm gonna try the big spinner again. I'm not giving up on that. The camera ran out of juice. I can't seem to hit the spinners down to the 8 inch. You can probably see better than me on the, on the camera where I'm hitting. I think it was low. That was a little bit low to the right. High. Oh. I had more left. Okay, sometimes I hit low, sometimes I hit high, sometimes I hit left, and sometimes I hit right. Where should I aim? In the center again? I think 220 yards is stretching the distance a little bit regarding the Thunderbolt. But, I'm, but I am hitting steel over there, so it's not impossible. And you can probably buy four or five or six or seven of the Thunderbolts. Uh, instead of one Lapua or, or one Ely. One more on the 8 inch. I'm not sure if this is the same lot that I tested last time. That was a low velocity again. I am hitting low. Okay, spinner. Of course, that probably went high. I wanted, I wanted to spin. Did you see that? That was a low velocity round. Where are you going? That was subsonic. That was subsonic. Or even... It did go through the barrel. I think anyway. Yeah. But the velocity on that one can't be uh, been more around a thousand feet per second. Maybe not even that. The last 
I got one more box, I have to be honest. But I'm not sure if we're gonna break the seal on that one. Let's try this one first. No. Let's try a few more. This is an open box from last time, so I think that this might be another lot. The velocity sounded really uneven on the, on the last box. That was low velocity. Let's try a few without the suppressor. I've often wondered if the suppressor have any, any effect on the point of impact or velocity on the cartridge. You should think it, it had, because if you lean the barrel into a wall or something when you're shooting, you get a different kind of impact. So I guess hanging 100 to 200 grams of metal on the end of your barrel should make some difference. I think I'm going to make a video about that test a couple of different suppressors and some different kind of ammunition. Do you want me to do that? See if the suppressor have any impact of point of impact or accuracy? Leave a comment in the comment section and maybe I'll do it. Hmm. I'm hitting the steel, but it's hard not to see where I'm hitting. That was low right. So was that. Okay, let's try to dial it a little bit to the left. Not had, let's see, tad up. Did I work the bolt? No, I didn't. I got more hits than I got misses. Let's see, I have uh, 
eight rounds left. Let's try to get one of the spinners to spin, shall we? I want to see it spin once with Thunderbolt. I shot it with green tag earlier today and I could spin all the way from the big one to the small one. But the green tag is a much better cartridge, of course. Okay, let's try the big, the big spinner. Nope. If I'd said that I was aiming at the middle one, you would have been impressed, would you? But I didn't aim at the middle one, I aimed at the, at the left one. Ah, I barely hit it, but I did hit it. And I actually got one left. I think I might have been aiming a little bit low. That was a low hit. Oh, I got one left. Two left. I can't count. Count Missula. That was also a love hit. I have several hit in the in the woodwork there I can see. Well, nothing to do with that. The Thunderbolt, very good at 50, good at 160, at 220. Mwah. You can have fun with it, but you can't compete with it. Okay, see you in the next video. The wind carries away the bullet. I have to aim outside the small one. Yeah, as you can see, it's not impossible to hit the small spinners at 220 yards. See you in the next video.